Hey, welcome to another exciting episode of Gill Skills. Today, we've got some interesting stuff to micro scrap for you, but not only that, but we've got a special guest here today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, let me introduce you to Crystal of R5 Adventures, AKA Diving with R5, AKA Scrapping with R5. God, we could just simply say R5. <laughs> okay, so R5, uh, R5, so here she is. So. R5 Adventures is here today, and she is going to help micro scrap this shark steam cleaner. Ooh. Someone wanted to have a clean house. It didn't want to keep it clean. So we're going to clean its clock. All right, guys, for those of you that have been around for a while, you know what to do. But for those of you that are new to the channel, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. It would mean a lot to my channel. It would mean a lot to the... the, the, the. It would, to the YouTube algorithm. It would mean a lot to the YouTube algorithm. So please feel free to do that. And check out the link below to R5 Adventures, Diving with R5, and Scrapping with R5. Great channels. You really should check them out. That's a lot of channels. All right, Crystal, you've watched enough of my videos. What do you think we should attack first? We always take the cord for first, do we not? Yeah, oh, we definitely take the cord first, so. That's that's like prized possession there of copper. Yeah, that's. And let's not forget the brass. The brass. She's I've been watched watching. a little too much of your channel. She's been watching. Any micro scrapper or any scrapper in general knows the scrap or brass, excuse me, inside the plug. So there's brass and plug. Number two insulated wire here. Woodle, woodle, woodle. So we've got our brass, we got our brass. We're gonna go ahead and continue. We're gonna start making a pile. Boop. Go ahead and put that there. And our pile. All right, so we'll put that there. All right, Crystal, so what's next? You're, you are kind of driving this uh, micro scrapping excursion today. So what do you think? Hmm? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. We gotta take the screwies out? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we got to take some screws out. I figure we'll take apart this handle here and we'll see if there's me any metals inside. There's no metal left behind on the Gill Skills channel. You guys know that. So there's some screws in this handle. So we'll take that apart and then we'll see what's on the inside. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of plastic. There you go. Because I wasn't all the way out on the other ones. I wanted to stay screwed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't expect this to go on Kool Aid, is right? Well. All right, we've got nothing but plastic in here with the exception of this metal spring that's in this button here. So I'm gonna grab that spring. There you go. No metal left behind. And unfortunately, I've got to start a plastic pile. <laughs> they really need to come up with a better thing to do with all that plastic. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I'm talking about. It's just too much plastic, but there is some wire in there. Oh, look at that, guys. We got some, looks like we got some number two insulated wire uh, that is in this this cord here. So, Crystal, what do you think we should do to get it out? Best bet is either opening this up or cutting this at least so we can get the majority of the wire out. Oh, I like the option that you had with the cutting. The cutting sounds great. Cutting is always fun, right? Yeah. We're going to cut to the chase, guys. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Go ahead and can't, give, it a, give, a, kink give it a good yank, Crystal. It just keeps coming and coming. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So we got our wire. I'm assuming the button actually would go into a different spot. Yeah, so we'll that take the button off. That probably has brass, I'm guessing? 
Um, the button does have certain brass in it, and there might even be like silver contacts and stuff like that in these buttons. I, I doubt it with this one because it's kind of a cheap button, but there is some brass in these contacts here. I've been watching a little too much. Yeah, well, I just pulled a little too hard. There, look at that beautiful copper, you guys. You don't want to be pulling too hard. Yeah, you pull a little too hard, you... You um, might hurt something. You might hurt something. Exactly. That can go in our wire pile. Yes, that can definitely go in the wild pi wire pile. We got a lot of wire. Yes, we do. Okay, so we got those brass pieces here. That would be the perfect insert point of There's that. There's some brass right here as well. Uh, we had some plastic on the cover of the button here. I'll go ahead and just put that button over here with the plastic stuff, pretty much. Actually, I'll put it with the brass. That can go over plastic. This here, guys, is nothing but, it's it's a steam tube, basically. The water and the steam goes through this tube. So it's nothing really but plastic and cloth. So I'll go ahead and put that with the junk. Oh, a lot of garbage. Exactly. So that leaves us with the body. That leaves us with the body, guys. So, um... Crystal, what do, you, what do you think? What else we, can we do here? Next step, I would say, is to find the screws. Let's take this off. We'll see if there's any hidden screws underneath here. I have to get those things open. Oh, look, accessory. What the hell? Oh, okay, that fills the water. That's actually... That little funnel might be useful for a, things Actually, in the that's garage. a. I think that's going to be a good repurposing thingy for me, so I'm going to set that aside over here. You guys will still see it in the running tally, but... Anyway. Junk... Junk, 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 more junk. The only thing that could maybe become useful is if you ever, if you're someone that likes to resell on eBay, someone might be looking for those accessory pieces. That's true, guys. I mean, you could technically look up the make and model of this, and you could sell all these accessories, which, um, I mean, you might have success. You might make a few bucks. Who knows? I mean, because the, the parts are good. It's just the motor that's not. You know what I mean? Well. If you're trying to avoid all of it going to the trash. So yeah. there goes the dumpster diving side of me. No, you're absolutely right. Outside. Absolutely right. I mean, I'm I'm advocating recycling all the time, guys. And like, you know, I keep saying, it's like... I see screws. I see screws. It's like I say all the time. It's, um, you know, it's a shame that we throw away so much plastic. All right. So we got four screws. We got one, two, three, four five six screws on this end i want to see if i can cut that and just get that off there because it's kind of in our way guys don't forget to like comment and share and subscribe to this channel and also the channels in the link below please check out r5 adventures diving with r5 and scrapping with r5 Directly from the armpit of R5 Adventures. Okay. So no, the, we need deeper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we need to go deeper. Let me go. <laughs> you got to stop that, girl. <laughs> you got to stop that. This is a PG video. That's a first to be told to stop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, you knew it was coming. Yeah, you were so <laughs> Get ready for Kool-Aid hour. Of course, we knew that collaboration was coming. We're going to be live streaming a little later, so, yeah. Got to uh, get ready for Kool-Aid hour. So I think we're good there. Let's get down in there. Let's see if we can get those screws. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Those bastards. They it's gave that, you a different type of it's, screw, it's, didn't they? You know, it's one of them fork screws. You yeah, guys know what, you. you know what I'm talking about, guys. Give me a second here, and I'll see if I have something that will combat the fork screw. They wanted to fork you. It's the fork you screw. I don't think I have the fork screw. You might meet the hammer. <laughs> uh, yes, it is very possible we could go all Ian Matthews on this thing very soon. Like pretty much now okay we don't have it I just checked we don't have it so that being said let's unscrew this thing here Ooh! is that brass do you see that is that brass let's find out we got a nifty little magnet here oh That's look nice watch 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 you ready guys let's do it again ready 
One more time for slow motion purposes. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna, ooh. Yeah, they made it super easy to unscrew. So there's four screws in there that we can take out of there and uh, I'm, I'm gonna do that now, guys. Give me a few moments. You trying to hit my subscribers? I'm, I don't know, <laughs> man, I don't know. The plastic just flung at our people. He's throwing things now. What's the plan of attack, Crystal? Because we're going to have to crack this thing like an egg. I think we might have to go all Ian Matthews. Out of practice, are you? You want to try? <laughs> you can try. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Let's switch positions. <laughs> Climb it on top. Add a girl. Uh, uh. <laughs> Crystal, turn your head. Turn your head. What the fuck? Turn it one more time. Are we done yet? And one more time for good measure. Are we done yet? No, we're not done yet. Turn that damn head. We're done. <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, in all seriousness, don't do what we do. <laughs> wear, wear gloves, wear safety glasses if you pull shenanigans like that, okay? Not kidding. <laughs> um, she turned her head. I'm just an idiot. Looks like those screws got a little bit warped. Plastic. Little motor piece or board. It looks like a little mini board. And a transformer. There's a transformer inside that plastic. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little transformer. Nice. Just put that over there. And then I think this piece has copper in it too. Some more number two insulated wire. <clears throat> more plastic. Almost gone hard. Holy guacamole! You came apart. There's more. You done good, kid. All right, there's three more screws right here. We're gonna grab those. There's no metal left behind. No metal left behind on the Gill Skills cha channel. Don't you dare bounce out of there. Even if it tries to jump together. It did too, it tried to bounce out a magnetic boulder. Guys, we've officially reached crap ton of screw status. This piece is the, the, the interesting piece. Okay, what else we got, Crystal? We got some foam. We got a decent amount of wire here, too. Go That's away. Nice. We have, we've got an aluminum shaft. That shaft ain't going nowhere. Ooh, guys, check this out. Oh, wait a minute. There might be something on the inside. This might be stainless steel. Cause it's like, it does have some magnets. Yeah, there, I think there's like some actual ferrous material on the inside. That should be, we should have some brass pieces up here. Crystal, stop playing with the rubber. <laughs> it's supposed to be coming off. It won't. Guys, if you like this collaboration, make sure you hit a thumbs up. You put a thumbs up in the, the, the little thumbs up box. Make that thumb blue! And you know, it's not like this can happen every day, but maybe this summer things will change a little bit. Mm. And we might have a little bit of a chance to have more videos like this. These usually are stainless steel. Not today. 
Mm, not today. It says, jokes on you. Uh, this is just a tube, a tubule. So we'll put that with the mountain over there. You, you still didn't, you didn't remove the rubber, huh? You told me to stop playing with the rubber, okay? Okay, well, I need you to start playing with the rubber well, again. I'm going to cut it off then. Okay, you cut the rubber off. What it, what gets comes with it? I what is it. going on here? <laughs> I got the rubber off. All right, you did a good job. So she got the rubber off, guys. This is proving to be quite interesting. So there's a few more screws here. There's one there, there's two here. One here. There's one over on this side, one on this side over here. I'm gonna take that out so we can take this body out and get the plastic in the pile where it belongs, and then we'll fiddle with what's left. Yeah, yeah! crazy and there you go <laughs> talking about cleaning up all these wires here and then um, taking all these nuts out and taking this brass off and seeing what's on the inside of this tank see we got a problem here we can remove those nuts but can we remove the other nut in this building no I'm here to stay unfortunately <laughs>
All right, guys, this is the bounty for the Shark Steam Cleaner. Yayos! We'll start off with the number two insulated wire and a whole bunch of wire this time around. So oodle 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 for that. We'll move on over to the screws and the other ferrous goodies, as you can see there in the, ma the magnetic bowl. Moving on, we've got all sorts of brass tidbits. We've got our plug, which has brass in it, and we get a decent bounty of brass out of this one as well. So I'm super stoked about that. And then we've got a transformer along with a low to no grade board. Let's call it a no grade board, but I think there might be copper in that piece and we will check that out at a later time. This here I thought at first was aluminum, but unfortunately with the steam cleaner, it has a heating element and the heating element has steel in it infused with cast aluminum. And that's what this is and that will be deemed aluminum breakage. Moving on here, we have a either a stainless steel or a steel container here. I believe this is probably stainless steel, just for the simple fact that water does go in here, it does get heated up, and uh, this is where the steam comes out, of course. And this might be an aluminum spigot, but it is welded there. I can't get it off, so it's going to stay on there. So yeah, yes. We got a bit of keep life here, ladies and gentlemen. We, <laughs> we've got this cute little funnel. I'll figure out something to do with that, but uh, I couldn't just throw that away with the plastic, so there we go. And then we have a mountain of plastic in this case, guys. And as you know, with most of these micro scrapping excursions, unfortunately, there's a great deal of plastic. And uh, to this day, would love to see a place that would pick this up or pay to take this stuff and recycle it and uh, turn it into the next working shark steam cleaner. And until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being such an awesome co-host. Or co-host. <laughs> co-host, collaborator. I said co-host. Well, I, I said or co-host. <laughs> or co-host. <laughs> and until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, have a scrap, scrap happy, happy day. day. Go over. You're going to come over and you're going to come over a little further ahead so that the camera can see you too. All right. Ready? We're climbing on top, huh? Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, not exactly. <laughs> I had well, to say it. This is gonna, I had to say it. There's going to be a lot in the blooper reel for this one, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the bounty for the shock. Shh, fuck. All right, guys. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.